Hey, so what is up everyone? My name is Devin with Ginger Tech Tips today and today I'm going to do a simple tutorial on how to, in Photoshop, take a video and convert it to an animated GIF file. So uh, for this tutorial I'm going to be using Adobe After Effects. You can use whatever video editing or animation program you want, but for this thing I'm going to be using Adobe After Effects. So anyways, here is what I will be turning into an animated GIF file. So what I'll do is I will render it first of all, That's pretty, ex ex but I've already pre-rendered it just for the sake of time. So after you render your file that you're going to turn into an animated file, then you will open up Photoshop. And for this tutorial I'm using CS6, I'm not sure if this is able to be done in any of the older versions of Adobe After Effects, but if it can be done, then you know, more power to you. But anyways, when you do File import video frames to layers and then you'll find whatever you're going to be your the file that you rendered which is right here for me and you can just kind of screw with these things depending on you know if you want to change the first and last of the frames and stuff like that but for this I'm not going to be needing to do that so I'm just going to keep that from beginning to end and then it will take and turn those frames of that video into layers so from there do not mess with any of this on the side because if you mess with that you might mess with the animation and the output so don't just don't do that you just do file save for web and then it will load and then you can see right here you can view it if that's what you want to do but that's whatever you can mess with that also the, a quick tip or if you're trying to optimize to a certain file size, you can do, you can do this little drop down menu, you can do optimize the file size, but that's just depending on what you're doing. So anyways, you can just pick a template, it doesn't really matter, Depend it just matters on what your file size you're trying to get to is. So, you know, just kind of mess with these settings and get to your liking, but do note that messing with these settings will probably drop the quality. So just watch out for that, watch your little preview menu over here and see if everything I will give one quick tip is you might want to stay minimalistic with how many gradients and colors you use because the more you use the worse it's going to be whenever it has to compress it to get with the file table so just just be careful with whatever you do there and after you pick your settings you'll do save it's very simple you save it and then from there, if you want to view it, either you can open up with your favorite web browser, or you can also, if you would like to not have to open up your whole web browser just to view a simple image, there's a free program called GIF Viewer. I will leave a link in the description to go download it. It's totally 100% free, and it's very simple. It's, it, you just open it up, and you just you can find your animated image, and it will play it because. Windows does not natively play uh, these anime files from the built-in photo viewer program that comes with it, and I don't even think the the Windows 8 version of their photo viewer d does it either. So it's a very simple program, very lightweight, and it's just I, I just think it's pretty cool for us. So there you go. You can you can view it, you can see how it came out, if you like the quality and everything, and then from there you can do whatever you want with it. Upload it to your favorite site, and whatever it's whatever you want to do but anyways if you found this video informative be sure to click the like button down below also subscribe for more tech tips and tutorials from me Devin until next time guys peace